Hi, I'm Stephanie. Welcome to Life and Steph. In this episode, we're going to talk about overthinking. And if you're like me, a, the simplest thing can make you overthink so much that you feel like, like you're a different person. Here's the show. Sounds good. Is that good? Yeah. Is that good enough? Okay. Hi, I'm Stephanie, and I'm a little bit of an overthinker, just a tiny bit. Lately, I've been overthinking every interaction that I've ever had with another human, um, total strangers, people I love, people who know me by now, people who don't know me at all, just thinking and thinking and thinking about how terrible they've been. So uh, I hope that happens to you. Does it? I don't know if this happens to you, but I just like somehow always wind up in a scenario where I think I had what was a totally normal interaction and then later I'm like, oh, that went horribly wrong in ways that I was not even aware of at the time. My foot was so far in my mouth that I thought it was in its normal foot place. Just went all the way through. <laughs> gross. Uh, <laughs> that was gross, sorry. <laughs> Um, it's, it happens like the second that I finish an interaction, I just like immediately start overthinking it. Like the person walks away, as they're walking away, I'm like, oh, what have I done? So here is the dramatization of something that happened to me in real life just last week. Enjoy that. Stephanie. Hi, Hi, how, how are, are you? <laughs> how are you? Good, good. How's work going? Oh, it's going really good. Good. Well, I'll see you around, okay? Okay, yeah. Right, have a good one. Bye. Bye. So as soon as he walked away, I started thinking about, like, what? What did I do there? Like, that, that interaction had some inherent awkwardness because we both said something at the same time, and then I had to say it again to make sure he heard, and then we didn't really know whose turn it was to talk. And... It was bad anyway, but then I just started thinking like, what was I doing? What was I doing with my hands? What was I, I think I did like the Fonzie gun thing. I don't know what was going on there. Hi, and then what was like you? my tone of how voice? That you? was very condescending. What was with that? Where did that Great. come from? I, I don't have a problem with him. It's just like okay, bye. came out of my face. Why did I do that? And speaking of my face, why am I like that? What? I didn't even know I could make those faces most of the time. How did that didn't naturally come up? Why was I doing that? He's going to think I'm such a jerk. And I am a jerk. And then I'll keep thinking about it. Like it it doesn't go away right after the conversation. Later that day, I'll be like I'm pretty sure I had a booger the whole time that we were talking. It was just like one big like a green one like right up front right there and he was really kind not to say anything and like I know boogers happen to everyone but like I'm pretty sure that was like the biggest booger and like I have no evidence of a booger now but that means I probably got it on my clothes when I like snorted laughter later I don't know there could be a booger I, I'm being chased by a booger this booger could be haunting me perpetually and like when I said how are you is that offensive in any culture? Because I think it could be. I mean, if it wasn't my tone, like even the words themselves could be like, and I just like said it and said it. And now he's gonna think I'm totally culturally insensitive, which I try really hard not to be. Mostly, I think, I don't know. I, like I'm, I live in a bubble and I'm so privileged and I just like talk and I'm probably offensive now, just like existing. So I keep going on like that uh, for days and weeks and months. I'm thinking about one right now, actually. Still thinking about it. Not good. But I'll, like months later, I'll be lying in bed, looking at the ceiling, cringing, like, oh, because I'm thinking about every bad interaction that I've ever had. Not even bad, just, just normal interactions. And I'll still be thinking about this one. I'll be like, what, what does how are you even mean, really? Like, what did I say there? Were we having two different conversations because I thought how are you meant something and then he kind of like has a different interpretation of it and so like he asked me a question and I tried to answer it but I answered it in like not the way that he thought that I would. So there's like layers of awkwardness that I was not even previously aware of. 
that's possible for sure. That could definitely have happened. And he just walked away from that conversation like, she just, did she just ask me, how are you, twice? Did she just say that to me twice? And then she did her like condescending like, heh, 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 heh. He's, God, she's such an ass. He's gonna go tell everybody that. And like, I know that, but I'm trying to keep it on the DL. I don't really want everybody to know that. I thought I was keeping it in pretty well, except for these 2 a.m. freakouts, but I am a monster. I hate my very existence. I don't even know why I'm here, but I'm still thinking about it. And I'm like trying really, really hard to never run into that person again if I can, which is tricky because a lot of the time I'm related to them or they're my boyfriend. So that makes things difficult. Uh, I started thinking about like fun costumes I could wear. Like I have an eye patch at home. That's pretty tricky. Like that couldn't have been Stephanie because that girl only had one eye. <laughs> That's a twist. Uh, I think about mustaches. I think about whenever I go into any public place where that person might be, I look around for things large enough to hide behind. Trash cans, poles, couches, ferns. I do run into them inevitably though. Uh, I see them again and I'm always like, oh, here goes nothing. I gotta have the conversation. I have to have a normal conversation and I either need to bring up the last one or not talk about it at all and just hope that this one goes better. And so I walk into it totally stressed out, completely tense and freaked out. And uh, here's what happens. Hi, Stephanie. <laughs> Hi. How have you been? Oh, good. good. And yourself? Oh, yeah. Yeah, things are going really well for me. Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah. All kinds of exciting stuff. How about you? What about work? How is work going? Oh, I um, I got a new client recently, so things are picking up. That's pretty good. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, that's really cool. So mm -hmm. what type of work will you be doing? Um, I do a lot of posting things on social media. I feel like I upload a ton of videos. Yeah, it's fine. It's totally fine. He went away from that conversation and like had the rest of his life where he brushed his teeth and made sandwiches and also made his bed and went to work. And I sat in, in my bed like, ah, why am I like this? For weeks. I did that for weeks. And he was fine. Oh, it's just, it just like, my brain does this to me. Why is this happening? Ugh, it's bad. But there is actually one one alternative scenario that's so much worse. And that's when I have a normal conversation and I'm proud of myself for having a normal conversation. And the person that I was talking to says this. Yeah, ever since I ran into you, what was it, a couple weeks ago, I've been wanting to sit down and, and catch up and see how you're doing with work. And, and this has been great. Yeah, that was a, it's good seeing you again. Uh, yeah, about the, about the other day, I just want to, um, apologize because I felt like I was kind of awkward in in that talk just a, like just normally normal awkwardness just an awkward lady I don't think so I think you said hi how are you and I said great and I I don't remember what we talked about it seems like it was very short but I don't remember anything strange about it, it. was short and not at all strange you're so right you yeah. are so right everything's yeah, yeah. great I mean this conversation there were a couple times in this conversation that were really kind of bizarre but th that conversation was great Hi, it's me, Stephanie. I'm back to normal again. Everything was fine. I know you were worried about the beginning of the episode. I'm just here to remind you that I'm not cute and also that you can subscribe to Life and Stuff. Uh, 
there's a button around here. This is me. Okay. <laughs> I, I just want you to know, I'm not cute. <laughs> How really... did that help? <laughs> okay. Are you good with that? Yeah, we're good. Okay. <laughs>